Hello everyone and welcome to class of fundamentals of WAN which is wide area networks and IP routing. In this we are going to discuss about the fundamentals of WAN and IP routing process. Wide area networks. WAN technologies define the physical that means layer 1 standards and data link which is layer 2 protocols which are used to communicate long distances. Two such technologies include leased line vans and Ethernet vans in this. Leased line vans, these are first the enterprise network engineer would order some kind of van link. A router at each site connects to both the van link and the LAN. So Ethernet van link do use the same data link protocols at the Ethernet LANs but they use additional features to make the link work over much longer distances which are required for the wide area networks. We have leased line VANs. Let's discuss about this. The leased line service deliver bits in both direction at a predetermined speed using the full duplex logic. The leased line uses two pairs of wires. One pair for each direction of sending data which allows full duplex operation. Leased lines have many differences compared to Ethernet crossover cable. To create such possibly long links or circuits, a leased line does not actually exist as a single long cable between two sites. Instead, the telephone company like Telco, they create the leased line, install a large network of cables and specialized switching devices to create its own computer network. To connect LANs using a WAN, the interconnect network uses a router which is connected to LAN and WAN link between two routers. We have different names for the leased line. Leased circuit, line and circuit used are the synonyms. Then serial links that means or serial lines bits flow seriously, uh, serially and router use serial interface. Point to point link. T1 which is 1.4544 Mbps private line that means data is private van link or link. To create the lease line some physical path must exist between two routers on the end of a link. The physical cave link must leave the customer buildings where each router sits. However, the telecom company does not specify install one cable between two buildings. Instead, it uses what a large and complex network that creates the appearance of cable between two routers. It put their equipment in buildings which called as central offices or CO. So the telecom it, uh, operators install cable from the central office to most and every other building in the city expecting to sell services to the people in those buildings one day. The telecom companies or would then configure the switches to use some of the capacity on each cable to send data in both direction. It creates a equivalent of crossover cables between the two routers. We have HDLC data link for leased lines. Two most popular data link protocols used for the leased lines between two routers. These are HDLC and triple P. HDLC is high level data link control and triple P is point to point protocol. A lease line provides a layer 1 service because the lease line define only the N1 transmission service. Many companies and organizations have created data link protocols to control and use the lease lines. 
all data link protocols perform a similar role to correct the correct uh, to control the correct delivery of data over the physical layer of a particular type for example the ethernet data link protocol uses the destination address field so that it can identify the correct device that should receives the data and fcs field that allows the receiving device to determine whether the data arrived correctly hdlc also have similar functions when one router sends a hdlc frame the frame can go only one place to the other end of the link so while hdlc hdlc has an address field the destination is implied and actual address is an important hdlc has less work to do than ethernet because of the simple point to point topology of the lease line hdlc exists today as a standard of iso it has hdlc field flag address control type fcs flag it is equivalent to ethernet like in preamble and sfd which is in ethernet address in ethernet it is destination address control is not there in ethernet type is there in ethernet fcs and fcs are same in both flag is there to list a recognizable bit pattern so that the receiving node realize that a new frame is arriving so whenever a new frame is arriving a flag is initiated address identifies the destination device control it is mostly used for the purpose no longer in use today like for link between the two routers type will identify the type of layer 3 encapsulated packet inside the frame fcs for error detection process and variable which is the data itself so how routers will use a wan data link routers physically connect to both lan and wan with those lans and wans requiring that the data can send inside the data link frames lease lines connect to routers and router focus on delivering packets to the destination host tcp ip network layer focusing focuses on forwarding ip packets from the sender host to the destination host the underlying lan and wan just act as a way to move the packet to the next router or the end user device so we have steps for this pc1 network layer which is a ip logic tells that it has to send the packet to the nearby router r1 router r1 network layer logic tells to forward or route the packet out to the lease line to the router r2 router r2 network layer logic tells it has to forward or route the packet out of the lan link to pc2 pc2 and router must rely on the lan and the wan to move the bits inside the packet this is ip routing logic over the lan and the wan to send the ip packet to router r1 pc pc1 encapsulate this packet in an ethernet frame that has the destination mac address of the router 1 here the router 1 de encapsulates the ip packet from the ethernet frame encapsulate the packet into a hdlc frame using hdlc header and the trailer and forward the hdlc frame to the R router r2 router r2 de encapsulates the packet from hdlc frame encapsulate into ethernet frame that has the destination mac address of pc2 and forwards this ethernet frame to pc2 lease lines have many benefits that have led to their long life in the wan market this is a process that i have explained so these have lease lines have many benefits it led to to long life in the wan market and it is like used as a technology also
थैंक यू